starting with Windows 10 and continuing with Windows 11, to add optional features such as remote server administration tools, RSAT, you have to have an active internet connection so they can be downloaded and installed from Windows Update. The internet requirement is also true for installing certain other features such as the legacy .NET Framework 3.5. For certain environments that prohibit or limit internet access, this makes installing the features to deployed systems problematic. Luckily, Microsoft provides language and optional features ISO files that can be used for such isolated environments. Navigate to the Add Languages to the Windows 11 Enterprise Image website and download the appropriate Language and Optional Features ISO. Mount the ISO and extract the Languages and Optional Features folder to either a file share or a folder on the local system. In this example, I'm extracting locally to C colon backslash temp backslash LOF underscore inbox apps. Although Deployment Image Servicing and Management, DISM, is the mechanism to deploy the features, we will focus on using the DISM PowerShell module commandlets. Open an administrative or elevated terminal or PowerShell session. To get the name of a feature or capability to install, use the get windows capability online commandlet. Here, we're setting the LOF source variable to specify the source we created earlier and the feature to add variable to identify the Active Directory domain services feature. Use the add windows capability commandlet to add a single feature or capability specifying the variables we set. We can also use the PowerShell DISM module to add packages. We'll use the on demand package variable to set the name of the package cap file and then use the add windows package commandlet to add the legacy .NET Framework 3.5. To easily install all RSAT, we'll list the available RSAT features, extracting only the name and storing them in the all RSAT variable. Next, we'll loop through the all RSAT variable, storing each entry into a local cur RSAT variable and install. An alternative method is to pipe the output into the for each dash object commandlet using the default dollar sign underscore placeholder. Now we can check to verify that our set is indeed installed, along with .NET Framework 3.5. We can service an offline .vhd, .vhdx, or .wim file for later deployment. The process is practically the same for an online system where online means running and not necessarily having internet access. Setting variables will make things easier. First, we need to mount an image file. For an oewindows.wim file, we need to find the correct index using the get windows image commandlet. I'm mounting an OE Windows 11 install.wim using the correct index, which is number three for Windows 11 Enterprise. When mounting a windows.vhd or .vhdx file, the index is always one. For the PowerShell add windows capability, and add dash windows package commandlets, replace dash online with dash path specifying the full path to the mounted image. When using the get dash windows capability commandlet to get RSAT names, even when servicing an offline image, you must use the dash online parameter. Similar to add dash windows capability, and add dash windows package commandlets, we can use the add dash windows driver commandlet to install drivers to an offline image. Again, setting some variables 
we'll make things easier. Here, we'll install the NVIDIA RTX drivers to the mounted install.wim file by specifying the folder where several .inf files are located. Next, we'll install a Xerox Universal Print Driver to the mounted.vhdx image by specifying the setup.inf file directly. It is important to be patient as these processors can take some time depending on the size of the driver packages. The mounted image locations act like a staging area where changes happen in a non-destructive manner. Once the capabilities, packages, and or drivers are installed to mounted offline images, the changes have to be committed. Use the dismount windows image commandlet to dismount the image and commit all changes. To dismount an image without making any changes, use the dash discard parameter. We can verify a successful dismount by inspecting the folders. The folders to where a .vhd, .vhdx, or .wim were mounted should be empty. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new, and found it useful. If you have any feedback, corrections, or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and pass it on to others. And I thank you for watching.